Well, hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I'm really excited for today's episode because in today's episode, we're planting potatoes. So I am always excited to plant potatoes. It's probably one of my favorite times of the year because potatoes are just so much fun to grow, They're like a surprise. You never know how much you're going to end up with. And so I wanted to run through some of the things that we did last year to have so much, so much success because that was a big question that we've had come up on the comment section of our video over the past few months is, hey Luke, can you, the next time you show how to plant potatoes, can you go through some of the things that you did specifically that you think attributed to your success? And so I'm going to just do that. I'm going to talk about that because we've done so many videos on how to plant potatoes. So I'm gonna go through some common questions that we get asked when planting potatoes. And the first most common question is, whole potato or cut potato? And what this is referring to is, do we cut the potato into slices to maximize the, the, the amount of eyes on the potato, or do we plant the whole potato? Last year, we planted the whole potato. In years past, we've cut the potato, and we've had, we still had really good success, but last year, we had the most success we've ever had. And I think part of that is attributed to the fact that the more plants you have growing in a specific area, uh, the more potatoes you're going to get. Potatoes are plants that they don't mind being crowded. They will do fine being you spread apart, but when you spread plants apart, you're obviously not as efficient on your spacing. So what we found is that when you plant a full potato, you're going to get three to four plants per potato on average, sometimes even more, but sometimes a little bit less, but on average around three or four plants, and those plants will grow up and each plant will produce potatoes. And each plant you'll get around two or three potatoes, uh, sometimes more, sometimes less, obviously, depending on the variety, but that's kind of a rough average as well. So in that given space, if you have three or four plants and each one of those plants produces two or three potatoes on average, you're going to have around you know, eight to 12 potatoes, which is just awesome for, a, for, one, uh, for one clump of potato plants. And so when you multiply it over the course of a bed, you're going to get way more, uh, way more production out of planting a whole potato. Now, again, I will say if you have more land and you want to space your plants out, you can definitely maximize your, your, uh, your eyes by cutting them up in what's called chitting. Chitting, we've done a video on, I'll post a link to that. It's the process of cutting the potatoes. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's what we did last year and that's what everyone always asks. What'd you do last year? Because in a bed and a half, we had over 125 pounds of potatoes. That was just incredible. So I was really happy about that. Uh, the next question we get asked is, what varieties do you plant? So we have gone through this before. We pick three varieties every single year. We don't ever stray away from them because they're the varieties we use the most of and we find work the best for us in our specific region. And so the three varieties we use are the Pontiac Red, the Kennebec White, and the Purple Majesty. Now the Purple Majesty, we're doing a little bit different from last year in that we are actually growing from our own seed potatoes. These were seed potatoes that we made ourselves using our seed potato method. I've got a video on that. I recommend going and checking that out. Um, I won't link to it because not everyone wants to do it. And also it's not really applicable to this time of year right now. Um, that's more for the fall. We'll talk about that in the fall and, and how to do it. I'll do another how-to video. But we made our own seed potatoes and um, using our, our seed potato method and it worked great. They're awesome. They have just small eyes, which are perfect for planting right now, and that's going to be wonderful. So those, those are the three varieties we plant. And then the, the next most common question is, Luke, how much fertilizer do you put on your beds? So to start this off, I wanna talk about soil fertility first, because soil fertility is definitely the most important component to having a lot of potatoes and large potatoes. Soil fertility is paramount. If you don't have good soil, don't even bother trying to grow potatoes. That is because they are such heavy feeders. Potatoes are some of the most heavy feeders of your entire garden. You can pick anything and potatoes are at the top of that list. So what we wanna do is we wanna re-amend with compost every single year. If you don't, you're going to be lacking in nutrients and your potatoes are going to be smaller and they're going to be, uh, they're going to be anemic. You want maximum growth, you want fast growth because the more foliage you have, the more energy can be put down into tubers. So that all that foliage requires nutrients and requires um, fertility. So we've taken our bulk, the bulk majority of compost we created last year 
and top to this bed off to the very top. The next thing we've done is we've gone and we've applied trifecta. So we have trifecta in the scoop here, just regular trifecta plus, and we apply about a quarter cup per, uh, per potato. So here we have a three foot row, and so we're going to fit about four potatoes, uh, four potatoes in that row, and that means we're using about a cup of trifecta per row. Um, and that's just an eyeball, it's not an exact, but that's roughly how much we applied last year. Um, Trifecta Plus is great because it has high amounts of nutrients, which again, adds to the fertility. You can't just add Trifecta though. You can't have poor quality soil and add Trifecta and expect results. You have to have a good base for them to, to, to take hold in. Potatoes are tubers, meaning they need to have a good root development as well. And that's why we have really loose soil here to help the, the roots expand out, form the tubers, and allow the tubers to expand in the soil. If you have really heavy clay, it's just not going to happen. So it's the Trifecta Plus combined with the really fertile, loose, uh, organic matter rich soil that we have in our beds. And the next question we get asked all the time is how deep do we plant our potatoes? When we put our potato sets in the ground, they are in a trench that's about four inches deep. By the time we cover soil on top of this trench, they're going to be about six inches deep. We do not go back and hill after that. Potatoes do not need to be hilled more than six inches because the potatoes they form are right at soil level where you put the, where you put the set. They will set roots down and they will set roots out but they do not grow roots upwards. Meaning if you put your set down in the ground about four to, four to six inches, you might have to, you might have to add some, um, some supplemental hilling if you're down like four inches, but six inches is well within that, that uh, the soil column where you're not going to have potatoes coming up and showing themselves, which is the only reason why you hill is to protect them from sun. You don't get any additional tuber development from hilling them higher. It's a very common misconception. So we did not overhill our potatoes. And also another thing is when we grow them so close together like this, the plants actually shade the soil out. So you'll have foliage coming out about uh, you know, a foot on, on each side, resulting in a really well shaded out garden that's not going to allow sun to come and penetrate the potatoes underneath, even if they did start to show. And then the next most common question we got asked is how far apart do we space them? So these beds are 12 feet long and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows here. And so you do the math, I mean, seven divided by 12. Um, that's about on average how far apart our rows are spaced. Um, I eyeball it every single year. I quite literally uh, do the same thing every single year when it applies to a 12 foot row. Um, so I, I just eyeball it and as long as I get, as long as I get seven evenly spaced rows, I'm happy. I don't actually measure it out. Um, but that's how far apart we space our rows. It's something that has worked for us and has continued to work for us. So that's why we keep doing it. And the final question is how do we fertilize? So we already talked about what fertilizer do we use and how much to use, but how do we fertilize? So we basically just literally take Trifecta Plus right over top of the tubers and we just sprinkle in that cup, just like that. It's really not complicated. And that's going to allow for the roots to come in contact with the trifecta right away. It's going to instantly start uptaking the nutrients and it's going to provide them with fast acting as well as slow release nutrients. It's going to get them off to the races. So um, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's not complicated at all. And it's definitely something that all of you can, uh, can take and, and replicate in your garden. So I'd recommend trying it. So that's really all there is to planting potatoes. I have shared everything that I did last year that I could think of, but if you have any other questions, you know where to post them. Just post them in the comments box below and I'll try to get to them. But I wish you all the best of luck with growing potatoes. They're so much fun, they're so rewarding, and they're certainly something that everyone should try growing. Um, they are just, they taste so much better than they do in the store. And I know we say that about everything that's homegrown, but it really is the truth. You just get such more fluffy, uh, succulent, soft potatoes. And it's, uh, it sounds weird to say, but I mean, it's true. They're just so much more buttery and soft than anything you could ever get in, in the store. And that's just because 
what they sell in the store has been sitting around for so long and it's been sprayed with sprout inhibitors to stay fresh and they're usually sprayed with things to keep uh, to keep them with rot they're usually um, dusted with um, like a sulfur solution to to keep them from uh, to keep them from rotting and to keep the pH around the potato uh, pretty pH balanced. Oh, and of course you get like an organic seed potato. Those have uh, those have just been sitting around for a while, and that's why they have a sh much shorter shelf life. But you know, just right from the garden, you honestly cannot beat it. It is just truly amazing. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you did learn something or not, but uh, it's not as it's not as structured as some of our other episodes. But that's how they are sometimes. I just enjoy showing you kind of what I'm doing and answering some questions that do come up because that's I, I find the most I find that's the easiest way to at least help one person is to answer questions that I specifically saw on videos. So uh, that definitely helps me out. And also, if there's some things you really like to see this year, post down in the comments box those things you'd like to see. It really does help me out, kind of decide what type of content I'm going to put out. So as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel, hoping you enjoyed, hoping you learned something new, hoping you all are growing big or going home. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.